<clears throat> Hi, Sagittarius. It's time for your love reading for September 16th through September 30th, 2019. Welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot. Or welcome back. If you are returning, thank you so much. If you have been liking, commenting, and have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you. My heart is very warm and very big, very full from all the support that I've gotten from everybody since I started this channel. It's only a couple months old. So uh, if you're new here, thank you very much for stopping by. Welcome. And uh, I hope that this reading resonates with you. If it does, I hope you'll hit the like button, the subscribe button, and uh, drop me a comment. Uh, if it doesn't, you can check out your moon, Venus, and rising signs, and you might find something there. Also, if you're a newcomer, uh, you will see that I use my pendulum to determine whether the cards should be upright or reversed. So when you see me whip that out, <laughs> you won't be confused. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, yeah. Also, if I didn't men mention in my last video to you guys um, that I am open for personal readings now. So if you would like to book one, you can find my email address in the description box below the video. Okay. All right, so spirit, please, love energies for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus in Sagittarius, please. Show me the love energies, the Lady V spread, please. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I have already been shuffling you guys' energy into the cards for a good bit before I started recording, so we don't have to do too much shuffling here. All right. Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, September 16th through September 30th, 2019, please. Hmm. Hold on a second. Spirit are the top eight cards the correct ones for Sagittarius, and the one at the bottom of the deck is the correct overall energy. Thank you. I decided to check because that shuffling was a little weird at the end, and I just wanted to make sure I didn't mess anything up. All right, so Spirit says we're good. All right, so how you feel about your person, Sagittarius, for the period of September 16th through September 30th? The Empress, currently in reverse. Taurus, Libra energy, Venus energy. We'll have to see what direction she turns in. All right, how your person sees you. The Ace of Cups. Nice. If it stays upright. <laughs> yeah, I think it probably will. It's a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Water Energy. Lots of love. Okay. How they feel about you. The Page of Swords. Air Energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. By the way, sorry for my voice. I somehow got laryngitis. So I hope you guys can still hear me. <laughs> um, but the Page of Swords. In reverse, currently, we'll have to see... How they feel. Uh, significant event in the past that may have led up to the current energy or that did. Queen of Swords. Did you cut somebody? You might have cut somebody out, Sag, or maybe you got cut. That's air also. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The current energy between you and your person. The Nine of Wands. That's my one fuck left card. So it's one fuck left if he stays upright. If he goes reverse, you're done. <laughs> All right. Um, the action your love interest is most likely to take towards you during this time period, the moon. This is currently in reverse. It's card of Pisces and equally cancer for me because it is the moon after all. Okay. Your advice when dealing with this person during this time period, the five of swords currently in reverse. I'm pretty sure it'll stay that way because I don't see you getting it as advice in the upright. This is more air energy of a lot of that, a lot of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, your outcome for this time period, the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, currently in reverse. Let's see what direction they should be in. Your overall energy is the Knight of Cups. Nice. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces again. Okay, so let's see. Spirit, upright or reverse the Knight of Cups, please. The Empress. The Ace of Cups. The Page of Swords, the Queen of Swords, 
Nine of Wands, the Moon, the Five of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so well, let's see here. These stay like that. Okay, yeah, so your overall energy looks really nice. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. You could be dealing with any of those signs or any sign really, but this is water energy. It's love. Love is in your overall energy, uh, Sagittarius. That's good. Love offer, actually, and it may have been after a break, a hermit break, okay? Like soul searching, uh, looking for the star. Somebody might have been in hermit mode and they're coming out and they got an offer of emotion to make. Okay, how you feel about this person, man, you think they are awesome. You want to, you probably want to have their babies, Leo. And if you uh, can't have babies, then you want to, uh, you want to grow with them. You want to be abundant with them. If you are a male, you might want them to have your babies. Or if you all are past childbearing age, you might just want to be abundant and with this person and watch your grandbabies grow or grow up together but this person wants to be or you want to be abundant and uh fertile with this person and it's venusian energy so there's definitely love here you want to grow with this person you love this person you do and they see you um as either this is how they see you so they either see you and think how much they love you or they see you and think uh she loves me or he loves me or they just think that you're just a really, really awesome, loving person. And uh, they are liking it. Okay, when they see you, they see love. That's certainly nice. Okay, how they feel about you. They might be spying on you right now, honestly. Uh, if you're not in communication with this person, they might be checking out your social media or whatever, asking people about you. Um, they want to communicate with you also, though. They definitely, I feel like, the way they feel about you with this card, I feel mostly that it is that they want to communicate something to you. But they may feel like they need more information also. The Page of Swords is an investigator, so they may feel like they need a little more information. But they definitely see love when they see you. Um, or maybe they see you as someone they could love and they just need more information. In the past, it looks like somebody got cut. Or, um, I mean, yeah, it's in the past. I just, the Queen of Swords isn't only about cutting out BS, but it's she's also about truth and about communication. There could have been some sort of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just some blunt communication in the past. There could have been some very blunt communication or somebody outright got cut. Okay, we'll get more cards. Right now, the energy between you two is one of being battered and bruised and wondering if you've got any strength left to move forward. But the truth is that you do. This is the one fuck left card. This guy is battered, beat down, and bruised, but he does have one fuck left. He didn't put up those, those other eight wands just to let them fall, okay? He intends to do something with all of his wands standing up there, okay? So he didn't waste all his efforts. He's not ready to give up yet, although he is tired. Okay, and that by he, I mean you and or your love interest. Okay, the action they're most likely to take towards you during this time period or you them. I think they're going to tell some kind of truth with that page of swords. Also, they want to communicate. They might want to communicate a truth to you. They want to reveal something maybe that was hidden before. Um, they may be overcoming their fears when it comes to you or just clearing up some confusion. Okay. Your advice is to not be argumentative. Lay down your sword, Leo. I'm sorry, Sagittarius. And um, don't fight. This is egoic energy like this. It's tit for tat, winning at all costs, but nobody really wins when it's in the upright. So lay down your sword and listen to what this person has to say. And uh, let's get some more cards for your advice, okay? Your outcome is... Ain't nobody walking away from this, okay? You might be thinking about it, or they might be thinking about it, or you may have walked away already. And if you did, you're going back. They're coming back. It's coming back, okay? Uh, or it's not going away. If you haven't walked away, you're not gonna. And if they were thinking about walking away, they're not gonna. If one of you has walked away, 
whoever's walked away is going to return. Okay? Let's get some more cards, Sag. All right, Spirit. Up. Please clarify these cards. Gosh, I'm challenged. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 16th through September 30th, 2019, please. Sagittarius, love energies. Clarify these cards in the order that they're laid down, please. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, September 16th through September 30th, 2019, please. That was the page of cups. Apology might be coming. Small offer of emotion. But we see the Knight of Cups in your overall, overall energy. So I don't think it's going to be all that small. That might be the apology part, the page, and then the Knight has something bigger. All right, so Sag, how you feel about your person during this time period the Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, currently in reverse. We'll see how they see you. Death. <laughs> they see you as death. No. This is uh, in the reverse right now, but it is the card of Scorpio, and it's really more about transformation and cycles of death and rebirth. More than just regular death, it certainly can predict some kind of, you know, an actual ending or death. But uh, more often than not, it is more transformational energy. Okay. Um, how they feel about you. So their feelings might be transform transforming, actually. Uh, but how they feel about you on top of that page of swords, six of swords, which is currently in reverse. That is also air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. In the past, on top of that queen of swords, the two of cups in reverse right now. Water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Amazing card in the upright. Not so much in the uh, reverse. We'll see how it ends up. Uh, current energy between you and your person with that nine of wands, that one fuck left. The high priestess currently in reverse. Card of Pisces could be dealing with the Pisces. We also have Pisces with this moon here. So some of you could certainly be dealing with the Pisces, okay? Uh, action that they're most likely to take towards you during uh, the time period of September 16th and September 30th. The King of Cups. So I saw the page while I was shuffling. You have the Knight in your overall energy, and now here comes the King. He's currently in reverse. Um, that's Water Energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And your advice, the Five of Pentacles, currently in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And your outcome... The Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Fire Energy, currently in reverse. Overall, Aries, the Emperor, the card of Aries. I wasn't calling you Aries, I know you're Sag. Although I do make that mistake from time to time. Anyway, yeah, your overall energy is uh, maybe a little bit rigid, uh, but it's also powerful. I mean, the Emperor's not bad at all. It's control. So you may be regaining control or gaining control. Okay. Um, spirit, upright or reverse. The emperor, please. The six of pentacles. Death. The six of swords. The two of cups. The High Priestess. The King of Cups. The Five of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So like I said, uh, there could be some control that is being gained during this time period. 
Behind the Emperor is the Eight of Wands, which is my out of the blue card. So it could happen very fast that somebody just takes control of the reins and says, all right, I can't, with this situation, I gotta do something, I gotta take control. That absolutely could be the case in your overall energy. How you feel about your person, you want reciprocated feeling. You feel very passionately about them, even though the Empress is not necessarily a card of passion, but you feel love. You feel like you want to grow with this person. You have some intense emotions for this person, and you would like to know if they're reciprocated or not. You want reciprocated emotion. You want balance and an equal give and take. How they see you, um, they, like I said, may be seeing you as going through a very um, big transformation. They might see you as having ended it if you cut them out with that Queen of Swords in the past. past you might have uh, turned your back on love. Um, but I feel that they see you're going through some changes, through transformation. They see you as love. I do feel for some of you, though, it is that they, they see you as turning your back on love. So if you walked away, maybe that's what they uh, they see. Okay, how they feel about you. They want to communicate. I feel that they want to get past this, uh, this unpleasant energy that whatever is between you, they want to move past that and move forward into smoother, calmer waters. Yes, they could be wanting to leave, <laughs> but I don't really see that because I have the King of Cups and the... Uh, action they're most likely to take towards you and I just that's love so I'll be surprised I mean for some of you it could be that they do want to leave but I feel that they um, they want to communicate to you that they actually want to try to get past this and uh, you know resolve this and get past this rough patch if that's what you've been going through in the past yeah I think that uh, you either cut them or they cut you okay because there maybe was not an equal give and take because your feelings, you want reciprocation. You want equal give and take. Okay, maybe you weren't getting it in the past. You didn't feel like this two of cups because this two of cups is perfectly balanced. Equal give and take. It's, you know, I give you my cup. You give me your cup. We're so happy we have our two cups. Let's ride off into the sunset together. Okay, but that was not happening before. It's like maybe you were giving your cup, but some but the person that you're dealing with was not actually giving their cup very generously, okay? And uh, I think you had to cut them out or they cut you out if you were the one who was being stingy with your cup, okay? Uh, the energy between you right now, the nine of wands, like I said, you both are beat down, battered, bruised. You're not sure if you really want to or should uh, give it another shot, but I do feel like you may, you do have what it takes to do it. You have one fuck left, okay? Um, this is also an energy. There may be still some secrets. If there were secrets before, there may be some secrets in the energy around you right now, currently, or uh, you could be, you could be actually uh, somebody who, well, this could also be you watching this reading right now, honestly. <laughs> the High Priest is a, certainly like a tarot reader and stuff like that, so this could certainly be you watching this reading right now, whether you're Sag or the Cross Watcher, okay? The action your love interest is most likely to take towards you, yeah, I feel they're going to come forward. They have a cup to offer you. They do have emotion. They definitely have love for you. I feel they want to come forward, clear up some confusion, or uh, they're overcoming their fears because not that the King of Cups is fearful, but he just doesn't really, uh, he guards his emotions, so maybe they're going to reveal, because this is about revealing when it's in the reverse, reveal that they love you, actually. Okay. Your advice, two fives in reverse. Okay, fives upright are challenges. So lay down your sword and let this person in from the cold. If you, if you cut them out, put them in your freezer, you're being advised to maybe open that door and let them come in. I'm not saying like pull them in, but open the door and let them do their thing and tell them, tell you what they want to tell you and be open to letting them back in from the cold. Okay. Your outcome, not, not walking away. Nobody's walking away, and if somebody walked away, they're coming back. I feel like somebody might have actually had some player energy in the past. So if your person was not, or if your person was being stingy with their cup, okay, and not uh, revealing their emotions, not, uh, you know, trying to reveal their emotions, I don't see necessarily, like, uh, 
non-committal energy here, but just the fact that, you know, there was an unequal give and take, it's kind of non-committal. When somebody's not investing, you know, equally, it's not, they're not as committed as you are. Okay, so maybe there was some in and out kind of player energy before, not necessarily player, could have just been inconsistent. This is just inconsistency. So in, in the upright. So in the reverse, maybe you're going to get some more consistency and the player ways will be going out the door. Uh, the person's coming back, I think to tell you that to reveal that they love you. Okay. Um, and that they're not going to be, you know, so sketchy anymore. Okay. In and out stingy with their cup. All right, let's get some more cards. Spirit, please clarify these cards for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. September 16th through September 30th, 2019, please. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on? Clarify these cards in the order that they're laid out, please. For Sagittarius. <laughs> so I'm going to say it's just Sag. But Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, September 16th through the 30th, 2019. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Okay, so how you feel about your person, the Empress plus the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, currently in reverse, more Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, how your person sees you, the Chariot, hmm. well, you could be dealing with a Cancer, you could have Cancer in your chart, so they see you as Scorpio and Chariot maybe, turning your back on love, you might have left, Leo, you might have left, that could be how they see you, having turned your back on love and taken off, ended it. Could be. I'll go back to it in a sec. Uh, how they feel about you. The Queen of Cups. Told you they love you. And there we there we have right here sitting the Queen and King of Cups. So that, for me, it means that you guys are soul mates. Okay? Meaning that you have, your souls have a connection. You were drawn here. You, you came together. It was no accident that you came together. You feel a supernatural uh, connection with this person. I'm sure that you feel it. Even if you don't necessarily know about or, or believe in soulmates, you know there's something special about this connection. <clears throat> Even though you may have walked away because the other person was acting a fool, okay? Being stingy with their cup. All right, so in the past, yep, conflict, five of wands, fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. So yeah, I feel like uh, you cut them out. They were just... There might have been some competition, actually, with this Two of Cups in Reverse and the Five of Wands. You might have had to have competed for this person. They may have put you in a position of having to compete, especially if they were being a player. Okay, uh, your current energy between you and this person, the Devil, currently in Reverse. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. We'll see how that turns. The action your love interest is most likely to take towards you. Death again. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Uh... We'll see um, what direction it's supposed to be in. I just don't feel endings, uh, but it could be. But I don't think so, because there, somebody's coming back, not walking away. I just don't feel that, but we'll see. I'll come back to that. Scorpio again, that's the death card twice. Scorpio twice. Okay? Your advice when dealing with this person, <laughs> the Queen of Swords. She's currently in the reverse. That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And your outcome, the Seven of Swords, currently in reverse, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius again. Overall energy, the Sun, Leo, could be dealing with a Leo. It's in reverse right now. Let's see. I'm dying to know the position or the direction of these cards. Spirit, upright or reverse the Sun, please. The Page of Pentacles. The Chariot. The Queen of, Queen of Cups. The Five of Wands. The Devil. It's 
Joseph. Death in reverse, okay. Queen of Swords. Seven of Swords. All right, thank you so much, Spirit. Yeah, that makes some sense there, the way that went. <clears throat> Just situate here. Okay, so your overall energy is the sun. Nice, and what's underneath the sun? The Ten of Swords in reverse. So you have likely been on a painful cycle with this person, and it is over. You need to let it die. You have bright, sunshiny days in your uh, future, Sag. This is beautiful energy, positivity, absolute positivity, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Just look at how happy that card is. So that is in your overall energy, clarifying that Emperor and the Knight of Cups. So I feel this Knight of Cups is coming forward to bring some emotion. He's taking control of the situation and it's going to lead to a very, a, a lot of happiness. Okay. How you feel about them? Yeah, you, you really want to grow with them. You feel very strongly about them. Feel you love them and uh, you want, but you're not going to settle for anything less than fair and balanced, reciprocated, you know, energy exchange. You want them to apologize or you want to apologize to them. You, you want to offer them something, but I feel very much for a lot of you that this is an apology that you are wanting from that person. Okay, how they see you, I do feel like they see you as taking off, turning your back on love and getting out of Dodge, honestly. That's what I think that they see you as. Um, if it's not that, like I said, they could see you as just love, love, love and going through a transformation and uh, overcoming obstacles. Maybe you're overcoming some personal obstacles in your life uh, and that you're about, you're just determined, determination also, the chariot is determination. You're determined to you know be victorious to be successful so they could see you as that or like I said they could see you as turning your back on love and leaving getting out of Dodge all right how they feel about you yeah they love you that's how I, I knew that this death card here I was like no they're not leaving or if you know they're they're coming back I feel if they if they were the ones that left they do love you they want to communicate to you that they want to sail on the smoother waters with you they love you for sure. No doubt about it. In the past, though, they might not have been so forthcoming about their feelings. They were being stingy with their cup. There was no, uh, you did not feel like your feelings were reciprocated. It was, uh, you were very conflicted. It led to strife and conflict. Like I said, they could have put you in competition even. And you were like, uh, no, bye-bye. And you cut them. Or they cut you. Take it out, resonates, vice versa, if that's the case. So currently, it looks like, yeah, you guys are, I think, you're tired. You may be taking a breather, like I said, okay? Taking a breather and getting going to watch a tarot reading, maybe, yeah? Um, but there is toxicity is releasing right now, okay? It could be that you're releasing, because if they see you as taking off and turning your back on love... Maybe you are releasing yourself from this person, but I feel that there is also a release of toxicity at hand. It's coming, okay? Because this person is coming forward. They want to come forward and reveal something to you. They want to reveal their feelings. They love you. They don't want it to be over. They do not want it to be over, okay? And they're going to come tell you, and you are being advised to lay down your sword let them in from the cold, hear what they have to say, and don't be so quick to cut them out and cut them off, okay? Listen to what they have to say. Because they're definitely coming back. And I think they're done with their player ways. They're ready to be on the up and up with you, Sag. Okay, they are ready to be on the up and up with you. So that is where spirit is taking you or telling you you're going to be at the end of September. Okay, don't... Hold me to that time frame. It could be a little before, a little after. You know, time is fluid. But for that period, this is what, this is the cards. These are the cards that uh, the messages Spirit has for you, okay? So, you know, just be open to hearing what this person has to say. Don't be so uh, crazy with the sword, Sag, okay? And uh, I hope that you enjoyed your reading. And if it resonated, I hope that you will hit the like, subscribe buttons. 
uh, drop me a comment. And uh, if it didn't, check out your moon, Venus, and rising signs. And thank you so much. Until October, see you later. Bye.